righteous days. I want to welcome you today and say thank you to everyone that's made this event possible. You know, just a short few months ago, the state of Kansas and the state board of Kansas instituted a new vision for education. And Kansas would lead the world in the success of each student. And Brad and I went across this state to 27 different locations listening to Kansas tell us what they wanted in that new education. And what they said was, we know that students are more than just a standardized test on one day. And that we could move forward in leading the world and helping every child be successful. And so as we think about the center today that we're honoring, having the ribbon cut, what a better place to talk about those things that Kansans said to us were vitally important to the future success, not only of students, but of all Kansans and all adults. Character, civic engagement, giving back to others, conscientiousness, and those skill sets that are learned when you delve into learning about things bigger than yourself. That's what this honors today. And Heather, I think it's very appropriate that we're here in Port Scott in Southeast Kansas, where I grew up, because not only is this a Kansas value, but it's, it's so certain a Southeast Kansas value. <laughs> When Norm and his students started this amazing chain of events by discovering Irena Semler, this greater Kansas community embraced teachers and students with open arms. I believe that this center could only have been born out of a community that values education, diversity, and history. And in the decades since the center has opened, you have put out the welcome mat to people from more than 80 countries. And as we like to say, from Fort Scott to the world, through online access and our ever-growing network of educators, more than a million students have already participated in the rigor and adventure of discovering heroes who have been overlooked by history books. Now thanks to the scholarship and the creativity and resources that will emanate from the new Hall of Unsung Heroes, millions more students, educators, and communities will have the opportunity to interact with us virtually. People and events unknown serve to challenge our understanding and add context to our decisions to create a more secure future for ourselves and for our children. And this is why, in my view, history is never a done deal. So, who are the real unsung heroes? Is it those whose stories and faces you see and hear through this center and its ever-widening sphere of influence? Or is it all the young lives that have brought them out of anonymity and into the spotlight? Irina Sidler referred to her storytellers as her angels. It is we who thank you, founders, staff, 
fellows, the teachers, the students, and those yet to be storytellers and angels. God bless you all.